This may look like a lot of food, but the best thing to do around your workout is to get a lot of food in. And I came from a past of actually having 6,000 calories a day for many, many months in my recovery from anorexia. So this is like not a lot of food to me at all. And everyone's requirements are different. I hope you eat more than this if that's what you need or a little bit less if you are full on less. And I hope that you find just some inspiration for what to eat and what tastes great. <laughs> For breakfast, I'm making apple and cinnamon oats. This morning I made it for my mother and me. So I did two full apples, two full cups of oats, four cups of soy milk because having double the amount of liquid is the best way to go if you want some really thick oats, as long as you're letting it cook for long enough at a very high heat to a boil and then letting it simmer for about five to 10 minutes and slightly cooling. Of course, I'm adding a ton of cinnamon. Apologies for the crappy lighting. It's very early in the morning. It's about 6 a.m. It's been a while since I've brought you guys through my full day of eating. I've been showing lots of the pretty stuff on my story, of course, but food doesn't always look the best, so I'll bring you through an entire day and there's gonna be some funny ones coming up. I brought out some fresh strawberries and raspberries and some almonds and extra soy milk to top mine and my mother's oats. And then I actually added my own tons of seeds and bananas for extra calories because I've got some high needs. Some maca, ground flax, chia, and extra milk. Another option I love for some extra protein is mixing in a chocolate or vanilla scoop and drizzling it on the bananas. Such a simple way to make a delicious bowl of oats extra good, especially with cooked banana. Of course, any sort of nut butter is super yummy on oats, especially chocolate peanut butter. For a morning snack, I'm making mulberry nice cream topped with vanilla. So mulberry vanilla nice cream. I added just a couple scoops of the mulberry powder first to see what the color would look like, then added some more. This makes it so sweet. Mulberry is super high in vitamin C, so important right now. It also just tastes incredible. You guys definitely need to get some mulberry powder. And then the protein powder that I'm gonna use is a vanilla protein from BioHealth. It's the sweetest flavor ever. It gets sweeter as it sits. Like I am so passionate about this protein powder because it has 30 grams of protein per scoop. It's made from all whole foods, yet it tastes like a dessert. Look how creamy it is. You can get it for cheaper with my code GenPeach, and right now I'm actually doing a giveaway for two pounds of this protein for free. Any flavor that you choose and a shaker cup. You can enter right through the link in the bio, and even if you don't win, I still wanna give you guys free stuff, so as soon as you enter, I'm gonna be sending you some surprises, but you gotta click on the link to learn more about that. This is one of my go-to nice creams for sure, but I switch it up every single day. You guys see all my creations. You can add lots of peanut butter, lots of chocolate, any toppings you like, and yes, of course, I'm adding more of this delicious vanilla protein and a bit more of a liquidy form on top for some added sweetness. And yeah, you guys can get super creative with your nice cream. Afterwards, I went for a little walk to get some fresh air and just move your body to change your state and I just get so much energy from it. And then after enjoying that quick time to myself, right on to lots of client calls, which always make me feel incredible. This day was filled with so many inspirational conversations that I am so grateful to get to have. I like to take notes during my client calls and this is what it looks like. I just like, I get so passionate and I'm trying to remember all these things that I want to remember to go on my little rants about. Like each little word has like an entire hour of <laughs> freaking preaching to someone because I just want to help people so much. Oh my goodness. Like you don't even understand how many pages and pages and pages and pages I have. But I love it. I love what I do for work. I love helping others to thrive and to feel incredible. 
Here's a very typical weekly grocery haul. So we've got just like a bunch of frozen broccoli. I was just like cutting it up, it's not that hard, but I realized it's like cheaper when you buy it frozen. And it's also already cut up, so it saves a little bit of time, just throw it in the steamer. Big thing of frozen fruit in bulk, frozen berries, a little bit better or a lot cheaper than buying them fresh. Um, Ezekiel bread, a full thing of vanilla almond milk, a couple things of tofu, some more chia seeds for my oats in the morning, as well as some more hemp seeds for the oats in the morning. My favorite barbecue sauce for my tofu. Um, tons of 50-50 blend for underneath some lentils at lunch. And then a big thing of more oats. Thing of apples. My favorite Japanese sweet potatoes. Tons of bananas. A um, couple white potatoes. And then avocado and vegan protein bars for backup. So yeah, I basically get that type of stuff for the week. Um, as well as like monthly buying things of protein powder, different supplements, and yeah, you can find that in my other video. When I got home from shopping, I also had this package at my door, which is from completing my course that I've been working on for a long time with Tony and Dean. It's been super duper amazing. I learned so much from it. I am obsessed with doing online courses. like. You have no idea, I'm always listening to audio. I never listen to music anymore. Well, barely, unless maybe I want a break and some yoga time. I even have lots of audio programs that I give to my clients so that they can have similar mental shifts. Casually opens can of chickpeas that has old hospital freaking label on it. For lunch, I'm thinking to make a full thing of just the mixed greens. I usually do kale, but Mixed greens are always fun. And then I put a full cup of lentils. I'm gonna add nutritional yeast, I'm gonna add mustard. Gonna just finish off some of these mushrooms. Um, top it with avocado. Actually, maybe do avocado toast. No, yeah. We'll do avocado in the salad. And then I'm gonna do my toast with this tzatziki spread. And then the mushrooms are gonna have roasted red pepper hummus and roasted garlic hummus. Definitely not the freshest avocado, but you get the point. <laughs> I then throw in a ton of the everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader, Do Trader, Do's, Trader Joe's. This is so good on toast, like on avocado toast, but because I'm doing the cream cheese on the toast, I don't think it needs it. So I'm gonna cover this in that and then lots of mrs dash i always do with mustard is just so good and a little bit more sea salt because you know it makes anything more enhanced and it has trace minerals and you should definitely not cut sodium out of your diet and then i will top it with a ton of hummus ton of nutritional yeast but you guys probably don't want to see that it's gonna be ugly a little bit crazy but it's so good, I promise. I just toss up like whatever vegetables we have left over in the fridge. So this one looks kind of funny because it's all white. Usually there'd be a lot more color. I like to space my meals only like a couple hours apart. I just eat tons within a pretty short period and then all the food's out of the way and I can just focus on work and focus on life and train really good because I'm eating lots. And like I said, it looks even crazier when the nooch comes in. It's just ugly. You don't have to eat ugly food to be vegan. You can make like a chili or something. This is just my throw together lunch and this is just what it turned into. It tastes good and when you're a long-term vegan, you just end up making some interesting creations and most of them are actually pretty great. <laughs> This is one of my favorite salads to make for sure. We got a couple cups of chickpeas, tons of nutritional yeast, and then toast with avocado and sea salt. And it's just on a bed of lettuce. It's super duper simple. And then I add lots of Mrs. Dash, um, cause it looks nice. <laughs> no, it's because it tastes super good. It's a salt-free 
seasoning, but I add sea salt, so then it's just like 800 times better. On top, I added mustard because it's just more salt, so it makes it taste great, you know how it is. And I've got a Ikea Fairy Tea. It's super sweet, I love it. Afterwards, I got my home workout in, which I've been filming tons of videos for you guys that I'm excited to share. But I mainly was focusing or have been focusing on doing yoga and really enjoying this time outside to tumble. And yeah, I just, I become a cheerleader as soon as the sun comes out again. It's so much fun for me to tumble around and just be present. For my post-workout shake, my favorite thing that I have every day after the gym for quick recovery, quick carbs, quick protein is a protein shake made with my favorite protein, which is the Vega Sport one. This is the chocolate one. My most favorite is the berry one. I have like 10 jars, but I just switched to the chocolate one just to like switch things up so that when I have the berry one, I'll be super excited again and enjoy it even more. I mix a scoop of this with a scoop of creatine, just five grams a day. I don't think that you need to cycle to like the 20 grams and go off. It's just so much easier if you stick to a consistent five grams a day, it keeps your muscles fully saturated, no need to worry. And then a cup of almond milk, of course, because it makes it more creamy and thick. And then I add in the berries, mixed berries, blueberries, strawberries, blackberries. I just love berries more than anything. I also have an apple. And then I even have a vegan protein bar. These are my most favorite ones ever. This one's peanut butter chocolate. They have strawberry cheesecake, they have maple walnut, they have a dark chocolate almond. And then I just have one of those ones and then I have one Laura bar. This may look like a lot of food, but the best thing to do around your workout is to get a lot of food in. And I came from a past of actually having 6,000 calories a day for many, many months in my recovery from anorexia. So this is like not a lot of food to me at all. And everyone's requirements are different. I hope you eat more than this if that's what you need or a little bit less if you are full and less. And I hope that you find just some inspiration for what to eat and what tastes great. <laughs> cup of almond milk or whatever kind of plant-based milk you use. I also love using coconut milk so it's extra thick or to blending bananas and not even using water. I've been doing that a lot lately. You'll see that in future vlogs for sure. Quick struggle. <laughs> and then by the time that I have it after my workout, this gets so thick, it's so creamy and you will be so excited to have this after you lift. And then I'd have it with this Lara bar this granola bar, and an apple. It's manageable and it's super duper yummy. It's important to eat a lot of carbs after your workout, but of course also before it's gonna directly impact your workout. Some people try out fasted workouts um, and that works for them. For me, I perform the best when I am super duper duper full, which is like weird. Like you don't wanna be so full in your workout that you're uncomfortable and you can't do things. But for me, like when I'm super full, I just I just have so much more energy. So it's also easier for me to eat a lot around my training. I like to structure a lot of my calories because I have such a high intake. I find it a lot easier because I'm more hungry around my training. It's different for everyone, but if you're lucky enough to be more hungry around your training, use it because it's gonna fuel your workout, it's gonna fuel your gains, it's gonna make you stronger in the gym, outside of the gym, and that's what you deserve. I like to start my day with the oats, higher fat, adding the peanut butter and adding those hemp seeds to make it super duper palatable. And also because when you have fats in the morning, it keeps you satisfied throughout the whole day. It keeps your energy more stable. It makes me just feel super duper good, keep my brain healthy and not super duper craving food all day. You're very satisfied and your mood is stable. And then my post workout, I always, like it's always so, much carbs and so much protein because that's what you really really need after the workout but still having fats in the lower bar but it's whole foods it's peanut butter it still comes with protein and it's important to have these nutrients throughout your whole day all of this digests really well for me 
it's all raw, even though it's this delicious. And I hope you guys try it out. So I've just got done all my client check-in calls for the day, which always leaves me feeling so happy. And then I got to work on a thing for the membership group, which makes me even more happy. And then I've just been having my tea. This one is an Ikea berry because I ran out of my digestive lemon ginger one. And I've also been snacking on a lot of these dates. These dates are the best ever. And then I'm just gonna make dinner and I'll show you guys what I make. We're gonna make one of my go-to dinners, which is tofu and sweet potatoes, as well as peanut butter, barbecue sauce, and yes, I'm snacking on more dates and doing some more computer work <laughs> during. We've got some frozen broccoli just cooked up, ignoring the bacon that my mother is cooking beside it. Added lots of soy sauce and tofu to the pot. So we've got it plated. Sweet potato, Japanese is the best. Couple cups of tofu, extra firm, couple cups of cooked broccoli, and then I'm gonna top it with a bunch of peanut butter, as well as this original barbecue sauce made from dates, and then the Trader Joe's seasoning and some extra sea salt. But yeah, even just this barbecue sauce is even enough to make this taste incredible. Hope you guys have enjoyed this full day of eating. What I am ending my day with is some dark chocolate, the only little bit of caffeine that I have. This one is about 72%. I am fine even when it's 90%. I just love dark chocolate and I love cocoa powder. I put it in my oats sometimes as well. And check out my free ebook, Four Fundamentals for Full Recovery. It could help you to find freedom with food, to heal your relationship with food and body, and to start loving fitness and flexibility. Lots of tips. Hope you guys are having a great day. Sending all my love, sending all my strength, and I'll see you in the next video.